Um, did she die right away? Um, not right away. Because we base the story entirely off of what John, my stepfather, says because he is the one that was there. And he said that he was in our kitchen making himself breakfast and she hadn't gotten up yet so far as he'd known. Because he at this point was trying to get over the drugs so he was doing the exercise thing. So he had been running since like four in the morning. And he came home and was in the kitchen and she came out and went to the bathroom, like looked in the fridge and came over, gave him a hug, just a quick one. Came over and hugged him, went back into the bedroom and shut the door. And he said he heard the gunshot, ran in and went to hold her and put pressure on the wound. He had his hands on her chest trying to stop the bleeding. And he says that she just said, I love you, Cheyenne and John. And then she was gone.